must be the old shop because they have windows, which um, Clarissa tells me is full of women's studies offices now. Um, there's a whole other section here. Drill press, bandsaw. I really, really think it's really cool. Marissa told me last night, maybe she'll do a little interview, that she had to, had a bit to learn before she could teach here, and she made that whole thing happen. So I think this is all pretty much due to her. Yeah. Is it possible this blade has got two levels? It's not taking. Um, oh, it's not scraping anymore? Oh, um, it's, it's pretty complicated jig there. Not before you just saw me do it. I okay. Do that. Yeah, so you just turn it clockwise until it starts to be more rounded. Okay. Right there, you can quick adjust it yeah. as you work from it. Yeah. yeah, you can kind of turn it even while you're going until it's done.
do the science thing here on the A0 question, the one, the, the, the one before last, um, just to point out something that people might not have thought about. If you think back to my talk with the comparison between the violin and the guitar, one of the really conspicuous things is that the, the equivalent of A0 shows up as a huge peak in the admittance on the guitar. Um, and I, I think that the um, Bill Bauer experiment was going to throw some light on that. And, I'll, um, I... and uh, today we're listening to some lectures on uh, violin acoustics. And I understand about 2% of it. Uh, one day, I think I might understand 3% of it. And that's, that's really the goal. We start with this line which is flat to the, like that, just under there. And then you do the 90 degree one there, cut those in half, and then make another 90, put that one there, and I made a 90 to that. And you stop there at the first turn, right? Because you go all the way back where you started, if that makes sense. like one turn around uh, makes sense so you do this one this one this one this one um this one and then this one and what you do is you go down to a millimeter above this line so i just had this my work checked here and i did it right uh, it's beginning to take on a bit of that shape, although at the end, um, I think I was over cautious with the uh, sawing allowances and maybe a little too close there. But there's a little bit more of the shape. The next step, after I do the same to the other side, is um, gouging straight in to the barrel from the lines and then gouging straight down so it'll be 90 degrees. And uh, I think I'm even going to leave some more on the bottom generally. But eventually we want these walls straight flat up and down. And then, um, then I'm going to draw the, the edge thinner than the last one. Because I couldn't quite put my finger on it. But I think that's part of it is the very wide chamfered edge here. What you do is you put the gouge straight down and cut into it a little bit and then go straight in with another gouge and take out little wedges at a time and then you get this valleyed area like that right there all the way up um, 